Jessica Shear, yeah. and now we're moving on to a DIY uh -huh. that smells wonderful. So this is an easy fall dessert that That's you can take thought. to Thanksgiving or something. That's what yeah. I was thinking. Everybody doesn't have to have pumpkin, pumpkin pie, pie, even though Dave pie. will not agree. He, he I mean, wants pumpkin, pumpkin pie. pie. I love pumpkin pie. Oh, I like something <laughs> a little different, too, though. Yeah. So uh, this is a um, caramel pumpkin spice cake poke mm. cake. Poke cake. I've never had, I've never done a poke oh, cake. Oh, my mom before. has always made this poke cake where you you poke it and then you pour a jello into we're it. We're gonna well we're not gonna do jello, we're gonna pour caramel into oh, it. Oh gosh. Okay, so I got this from it's always autumn.com. I think that's the blog of the name mm -hmm. or the name of the blog, the blog of the name. The name of the blog. <laughs> um <coughs> yeah, caramel pumpkin poke cake. It's always autumn.com. And here's what you need. You need a box of spice cake mix. Um, three eggs to put that with the cake mix, a quarter cup of water also goes with the cake mix, and one can of pumpkin puree. And I always get really confused whether it's supposed to be pumpkin puree, like pumpkin pumpkin, or like pumpkin oh. pie mix. This one said pure pumpkin, so I'm thinking I did the right thing, because I feel, felt like if we did pumpkin pie mix, it'd be too sweet. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, surely it would have said that, yeah. so yeah, I think, I think you're right. So you preheat your oven to 350, you do the cake mix, uh, eggs, water, and pumpkin puree, mix it all together, put it into 9 by 13 pan, bake for 25 minutes to 30 minutes. I did it for 28 minutes, because that's usually what my oven does mm -hmm. anywhere, like kind of right in between. And then it says to take the back of a wooden spoon and poke some holes in it. This will be fun. I don't have a wooden spoon, I have a plastic one, mm -hmm. but it's about the same. And it says don't go all the way down, only go halfway. Oh, okay, then it won't be yeah. goopy on your plate. So okay, just, just about every do... inch. Yeah. Oh, wow. So then when you cut into this, caramel is going to roll out. Go for out. it. You're going to do a wonderful. Lunch. Yeah, so what else you need is um, caramel ice cream topping. And that really confused me because I was like, what is that? Obviously just caramel <laughs> like that you pour on ice cream. That's all it means. And then some toffee bits that you just sprinkle on top. And also some Oops. whipped cream. Oops. Oops. That happened. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's a little moist in the center. That's my bad. So um, I did not it's bake perfect. it all the way. So. Oh, man. I wish I wouldn't have done that. Now I'm going to want more. <laughs> yeah. So this is just something so easy. I thought, you know, it's that time of year where, um, you know, I wanted something easy too. This is so easy. Uh, Shelby has getting a little bit on the spoon. That's my fault. I uh, kind of figured it wasn't baked enough, but it'll be fine. Are we ready? Yes, this gonna, part's really gonna be fun. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour some caramel and you want it to go into like the holes of it, you know? Mm -hmm. I might, I should, maybe I should have warmed this up. I don't know. Oh, man. So we're going to do this. I bet it'll drip. Oh, yeah. It's going to get Yeah, done. you could warm it a little bit. That yeah, might, it that didn't might tell me to, so that's why I'm not doing that. Yeah. But I'm making sure that it gets into all the little holes that we just poked. That's where I have trouble, is I kind of modify the mm. recipe as I go, <laughs> and that never works. I mean, I don't know why I would do that. You know, if you're a good cook, you can do that. I was just thinking about that today because I love to bake and I'm actually pretty good at baking. Mm -hmm. Like I'll toot my own horn for a second, <laughs> but I could never bake from like not scratch, but like with no recipe. Like you oh know how some my, people just know. Because yeah. yeah. I was thinking like because normally you have to put oil with the ca spice cake mix, and I'm like, mm -hmm. how did they know not to put any oil with that? Like I'm sure there's enough oil probably in the pumpkin puree or like mm -hmm. whatever consistency they wanted it. I'm not really sure, but I would not have known to do that. Mm -hmm. So. There's that. I wouldn't have known to do any of this, so I, I just know. learned the whole time. I'm going to spread it around just a okay. little bit, get it all. Did good. you know when you cut into that and then the it's caramel rolls out? Ooh, that's going to be good. Maybe I have to take something to a Thanksgiving. They usually don't make me, and I think it's because <laughs> what's the point, right? I mean, I can make something for you, and then you... Do you no remember kidding. that friend episode where Monica um, cooks for Rachel, and then Rachel pretends like she made no. it herself? Yeah, she's on a date, so she pretended like she made it for oh, her date. That's, I don't know how I could not remember that. I've seen them all. I'm thinking about starting that over and watching them all again. My favorite. Don't you watch at least one a day? Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> multiple a day. It's on TBS, so I, you know, I just always watch it. You can't it. go wrong. Are you ready to do this now? Sure. So okay, we're and then the heat's on top, okay? Yeah, so we're going to take that and just pour it on, and then you spread it around. Okay, I can do that. So you know, whip Cool Whip doesn't have a ton of calories. 25 calories for tablespoon, for two of them. I just sit down with a tub of it. I could eat like a, two cups, though. I love it. <laughs> That's because... probably more like 500 calories. Oh, but it's so light and fluffy. Do you think I should put lots? The whole thing. Okay. It says all eight ounces, so go for it. 
And then if you remember, do you remember how to spread it properly, or do you want me to do that? Uh, properly, huh? <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing so, no. Yeah, so I don't know if this is properly, but you just want to be not afraid of it and just go ahead and spread it I around. was afraid of it. You were afraid. You mm -hmm. can't be afraid. Look how beautiful that it looks. It is. And you I want, think I should do this. I know. You want this kind of um, spatula, like the rubber spatula, because mm -hmm. it just makes it better. Give me some of this. Mm-hmm. Mm this looks so good, man. Couldn't I really impress them if I showed up with you something really like this? You really could. They'd all just flip out. I mean, it's so easy. I mean, you want me to go ahead and tell you what I'm bringing? What are you bringing? Because, okay, well, to my credit, they have everything covered. You so I'm like, what too. will my son eat good? I'm going to bring, uh, like, this can be the, you know, this can be your appetizer. Pickles wrapped in cream cheese and ham. That was my lunch I forgot at home. <laughs> During the commercial break, I was like, I forgot my lunch at home. <laughs> and that's what I forgot. Oh, so it my in. aunt's always watching, so now she knows what I'm bringing. Now I you know. She's like, oh, this, my that's God. That's delicious. How, how much? That's think? perfect. Whatever. I it's kind of it. silly. It thing says to a take half to a cup of toffee it. bits. I think you just do however much oh, you want. Oh, man, those are good. So we, <laughs> we, have this on four, we will have it on fourstateshomepage.com, our Living Well Facebook page. I already have it pinned to our Pinterest page. Go to, just go to Pinterest.com and look for Featured on Living Well, and it's there as well. Great. There's all of our fun projects. Yay. Thanks so much for doing this Thank again, you. Jessica. Stay with us. We have an interesting...